serious offenders this month. And New York Governor Andrew Cuomo granted clemency to 21 people, including a 43-year-old registered nurse who was convicted of possession of marijuana in 2001, and a 54-year-old woman who was convicted of possession of marijuana in 2000 and has been working at an assisted living facility throughout COVID-19. Lawmakers in Maryland have been working on a bill to legalize recreational marijuana, which could come up for a vote in 2021. If Maryland's bill passes, it would set up a legal retail cannabis industry with a focus on social equity, and it would expunge most cannabis-related convictions in the state. In Georgia, Democratic Senate candidate John Ossoff has announced that he is in full support of legalizing marijuana. If he wins the seat in the upcoming runoff race in January, that means Ossoff would be another yes vote in the Senate for the MORE Act, which would legalize cannabis across the nation. And finally, the commissioner of the NBA, Adam Silver, said that the league is considering making its temporary rule permanent that has suspended all random testing of players for marijuana. Silver said the laws of the land are changing, stress levels are high, and unless their use of any substance is proving to be a problem, he said he doesn't want America's professional basketball players to feel like they're being monitored by Big Brother, so they should be able to get high as well. If you're digging our show, we'd love it if you gave us a review and a rating wherever you're listening to us right now. Make sure you go to differentleaf.com and grab the latest full issue of what is undoubtedly the most gorgeous and entertaining cannabis journal on the planet. I dare to say. And go follow us on social media at Different Leaf and I'm at Brit the British. Thanks as always to our top-notch producer, Andrea Moraskin, and thanks to Homebody for the music and we'll see you all in the new year. <laughs>